Hi friends, welcome to Abhi Tutorials. In this lesson, we will see about the PIP package manager, PyPy repository and virtual environment in Python. PIP is a command line tool which acts as a package manager for Python. It is used to install and manage Python packages. It comes as a default package manager with the Python installer from version 3.4 onwards. The acronym for PIP is PIP Installs Packages. The acronym is given by its creator, Land Biking. To view the list of options that are supported by PIP, open a command prompt and type the command pip-help. As highlighted, you can see the list of options supported by the PIP command. So far we have seen what a PIP is, but why does PIP get the packages to install? The PIP connects to an online repository to download the Python packages and this repository is known as Python Package Index or shortly known as PyPy. You can visit repository using the URL pypy.org. Given here is the pypy.org website. Click on the Browse Projects link. On the left hand side, you will be able to see a list of package classifications. For example, if I click on the Framework link, we will be able to see the full list of Python packages that are frameworks. Similarly, if you click on Topic and expand it, you will be able to see the Python package topics that are available. Now, if I specifically click on Email, then I will be able to see a full list of Python packages pertaining to email. Also, we can make use of the project search bar to specifically search for a package. Before searching anything, make sure that you have cleared the selections you have made in the classifier checkboxes. Here I am specifically searching for a package named Pandas. Press enter and you will be able to see a list of packages that contain the word Pandas. From this big list, I am specifically looking forward to install Pandas 1.1.2. So click on the same. You will be able to see the command which you can use to install Pandas in your system. The same thing applies for other packages as well. To find the command to install a specific package or to get a package itself, you can visit the site pypy.org and you can get the corresponding installer command you are looking for. So far we have seen about pip and pypy. Simply stating, the pypy is a repository of packages and pip is used to install packages into the python environment so that the modules within the packages can be used in Python programs. Consider a scenario where you have installed various packages in your Python global environment as given in the image. The more packages you install to the global environment, your system becomes cluttered. Sometimes you may need only the package for machine learning, but you will unnecessarily have other packages for web framework or for emails which you are never going to use. In certain cases, you will need a lower version of the package, whereas your Python environment has an upgraded version of the package that is not useful for your program. In some scenarios, you may need both versions of a same package to be used by two different programs, but your Python can contain only one version of the package. How does Python tackle these problems? Python uses a solution known as virtual environment. In Python, you can create any number of virtual environments and install your packages or dependencies within a specific virtual environment so that it doesn't interrupt other virtual environments. Using virtual environment, you can make your Python project to be self-contained and self-dependent as all the dependencies will be installed within the specific virtual environment. To create a virtual environment in Python, we will use the module VENV. The syntax for creating the virtual environment is Python dash mvenv followed by the folder name. If the folder name does not already exist, then Python will create a new folder for the environment. Let's now create a new virtual environment in Python. Open command prompt and move to the folder where you need to create the virtual environment. Here I am moving to the folder Learn Python within G Drive Abhi Tutorials. Type the command python -m -v -e -n -v followed by the name of the environment. In this example, I have given the environment name as abhi tutorials and press enter. Once the command is executed, you will be able to see a new folder created in the learn python directory. Open the folder and you will be able to see certain environment related files and folders created within the main environment folder. Open the scripts folder. You will be able to see a list of files. Among the files, 
the activate batch file is the one which we will use to activate the environment we have just created and the deactivate batch file is used to exit from the virtual environment let's now see how it works go back to the command prompt and run the command where abit tutorials is the name of the environment we have created in the previous step press enter you are now within a new virtual environment named abit tutorials which is indicated by the prefix as highlighted now you can run any python program as usual or you can install any new packages within the virtual environment let's now try to install a package called numpy which is a python package to work with complex arrays type the command pip install numpy and press enter as a first step the package numpy will be downloaded and then it will be installed within your virtual environment now type python in your command line to open the python interpreter import the numpy module as highlighted and press enter the numpy module is now successfully imported as there is no error message type the command dir of np and press enter you will be able to see the contents of the module numpy listed in the screen scroll down to the bottom exit from the python interpreter using the exit of function as displayed here and press enter now as you can see you have exited from the python prompt but you still remain in the virtual environment to exit from the virtual environment type the command abit tutorial backslash scripts backslash deactivate dot bat and press enter as you can see we have now come out of the virtual environment Let's now open the python interpreter outside the virtual environment and see if we can access the numpy module which we have installed previously within the virtual environment. Type python from the command prompt and press enter. This will open up the python interpreter as highlighted here. Type the same command as we have imported numpy earlier which is import numpy as np and press enter. As you can see we will receive a module not found error. This is because the numpy package exists within the abit tutorial virtual environment. and it cannot be accessed from python's global environment similar to the virtual environment we have created we can create any number of virtual environments in python using the venv module which can act as a dependency container with the specific packages that you have installed so far in this lesson we have learned about the pip installer pipi repository and creating virtual environment and installing a package within a virtual environment Thanks for watching our video stay tuned and please like subscribe to our channel thank you